Well met fellow adventurers and welcome back to PC Miniature. Tonight we will be revisiting our Pocahontas family and continuing in her life chapter. I think we're going to give the baby a birthday today because I'm excited to see what she... Like I already have this up. We're going to go into the game right now and I'm going to unpause it. I would like to wait just a little bit and play with the baby a little bit more before we age her up. I will have to end soon. Well, at 8 o'clock-ish, I'm going to start closing the stream down, but I would like to have a discussion with all of my viewers beforehand. And on that note, we're going to start playing. Water shut off day is now in accordance. Okay, the baby's good. Uh oh, no, she's not. Oh, go. I'm wanting to wait until Cocoam goes back to work, but she should be going back to work to age him up because that'd be sort of like a maternity. Like, I think that that amount of time in this home would be about the only time that would be a real hard life, baby. And just so that it'd be easier on me as well. We're going to have him go fishing for dinner. I did start a little early tonight just because of the fact that I won't be able to stream as long as I usually do. If we're feeling up to it, I may come back after and play a ch couple chapters of Worm because that's a really good game. But it is the holidays, and I might go ahead and spend a little bit more time at home sorting out some things that I need to sort out. I'm actually kind of starting to like this house. He's busy. He can invite him to go fishing. Baby sad, what do you need? Change dirty diaper. Okay. Talk to her. Do that. No, not you. I mean that's fine, but I was having him level up his stuff. Okay, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> dirty diapers are a pain. Now, what does she need? I need cuddles. We gotta cuddle the baby. Love her. Don't you do it. Stop it. Stop. No, no, no. You're not allowed to do that. What are you cooking? Nope. You're not allowed to eat that. If they have to eat anything that's off the grid, it can't be stuff like that. Oh, I bet his refrigerator just broke. Oh, well, maybe he can eat that. Okay. <laughs> She's an adorable little baby. Let me see if I can get a good... Ah, pick her back up, Pokemon. Hold up. Can't really... Let's see. Yeah. Cute with a shirt. I named her after Pocahontas' real-life sister. And I usually, I've had Coco I'm doing a lot of the parenting as well, but Pocahontas usually does most of it because I'm trying to get her parenting skill up because she's going to be at home with the kids while he's fishing or for a living. <laughs> she literally just had that baby and looks good. I wonder if that's going to hurt him. He fixes it. Let's see what her needs are. He seems good other than energy. So maybe while the baby's sleeping, we should sleep. Yeah. That seems like a plan. That's usually how you do it in real life. That poor kid 
I feel so bad for it. My little raccoon. I don't know why I keep calling it a kitten. It's a raccoon. And I got to make some room as well. So I'm going to probably wait till almost about midstream. The age of the baby. But I, so that we can get some stuff for the baby put in here. And then see the toddler and play with the toddler a little bit. Eventually, I need to revisit the Rebel family as well and get them to where they're sussed up, that their kids are well taken care of and all that good stuff. Because at the moment, I haven't, we haven't played that family, I think, in about a month-ish. I've been playing this family. And I play, it's called a rotating game style. And you go from family to family to family, like playing the games and getting their story in orders. <laughs> Let me read this to you. I hold. I had her. Um, oh, never mind. It was. It, there's a satellite that you can make everybody and be in a better mood. And I had her do that one day, and. He was telling her, hey, if you did that, that was awesome of you. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a satellite that you could turn on that put everybody in a good mood? But that would be amazing. All right, I got to admit, I'm getting a little more fond of Coco. Like, you're being a grumpy bear. Let's turn this satellite dish on. <laughs> Wave. It's so much easier to do that whenever I'm playing The Sims because whenever I'm playing, like, APB or something, sometimes I can't stop to <laughs> put in emotes. Very, um, it's a slow game, but I love it. Why is there an option to put trash in his inventory? Why would that be a thing? I don't know. EA's crazy. It's fine. Here's our tent we started out with. He legit just had this tent and this campfire with the little chairs around it. We'll give him a silly umbrella. He can have some ducks. <laughs> We'll give Coco one ducks. Survival of the fittest, yeah, that could be a reason. It's it's strange to me. Um, I'm sorry, not right now, and especially not him. You, what do you need? Hey, you need to go read a parenting book. Let's see. Yeah, she's not, she needs to go on somewhere with her hot self. Talking to my man. <laughs> Pocahontas' man. Just leave him alone. Don't you even go, he's going in the room where they're all asleep instead of sitting in, see, Sims are so stupid. They're crazy. I love this game though, but I can, I, yeah, I'm going to trash about it every once in a while because of the things that they have the Sims do is just so random and nuts. He's not getting any parenting skill from that, so. Open. Parenting level two. Oh, he caught dinner. If you put your produce in your fridge, your Sims have better quality food and they're happier because they have fresh ingredients as like anybody. You know, if you're making a salad or something and you got garden fresh tomatoes and lettuce and stuff in it, it tastes a lot better than it does if it doesn't have it in it. Like it, it really does. I, w I used to, we used to grow tomatoes whenever we had an acre farm. Well, not farm, 
it was, it was, we had a lot of land at, in this one house that we lived in. And we grew a bunch of stuff. And some, mostly, like, a lot of tomatoes. Uh -huh. Because my daughter used to like to sit and eat tomatoes whole. And it got to where we had to run, rub, you know, desitin. We had to start rubbing it on our um, little chin because she started the acid in the tomatoes. I would lay them on the table <laughs> I while I was doing other things. And she'd turn around and start eating. And I'm not going to fuss at her for eating a tomato and be like, don't you eat that. That's healthy. <laughs> like, that's, that's never going to happen. But she loved tomatoes so much that she would... She literally got like a little acid chin, like a little diaper, almost like a diaper rash on her little baby face. <laughs> well, not baby. She was, you know, obviously she was old enough to eat food, but. And the kitty cat prowling. Some new kitty cat Buncha! things. Oklahoma needs to check. He's good, other than hunger. But we could have him eat these. I I still don't understand how just parsley makes. I guess because you're expected. I don't know, but just parsley makes meatballs. You have it. No go exercise. Uh huh. Is he raising his kid? Okay. Now they're both asleep and he's not my favorite, but <laughs> so we'll do this. You can work out exercise, do push ups. There you go. I mean, I'm not saying that I hate him or anything. Nope. You go away. You're not turning any of these, this family, into a vampire. He can clean house. He's going to play. Oh. I might be able to get a better shot of the baby now for us. These world. I almost want to age her up right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to here in this and then we can go to the park and have a family day yeah. then we get a toddler and a cute little baby to play with like this is kind of like it. They, the babies are kind of like a little object in this game I can't take it anywhere I can't really do anything with it it just sits in that bag it, but if I get a little toddler, I can aid. We can do things with it. Hey, Miss Lottie. Each way. <laughs> Yay. Level five. She's like going to be a super parent. Yo, she's already almost max level parent. And she don't even have to have a toddler. All right, I'm. I don't know. I'm going to wait for a few more people to get in since I started early because it's only fair. But I want to age up this baby. <laughs> I'm ready. I need to see what she looks like. I'm ready. She's going to be so cute with her little toddler face and her braids and she have a couple of cute little outfits. And we're just going to love her. And I think we're going to call her Mata. That way I don't butcher her name until I learn how to enunciate it better because it is historically accurate and um I don't really know their language that well, and I don't want to be any kind of way. Um, her name? Yeah, give me just one second. Let me go to her. Oh, well, we'll have to age her up. It's, uh, I'm getting it right now. And this come off of a dot org site. So if the information is not historically a dot org site from their tribe, not from um anything else. Like so 
So it should be historically accurate. And if it's not, I tried my best to do my research because I kind of use the Sims as a learning tool as well. So that, like, if, all right, say I was to make Tesla, right? And I want to, and I'm going to as a scientist. I would go in and I would thoroughly research him. Thank you. Well, I can't say thank you. I don't have credit for it, but I'm glad that I used the historically accurate name. Um, but I would research him. I would put in, like, I might end up, like, say he didn't have any kids and I kind of wanted him to have kids or whatever. Change that up. And his life might change a little bit, but the start of his life would be as historically accurate as possible. And as I was playing the family, I would try to, like, learn about him, teach guys things about him, because I enjoy that aspect of it. I've, um, I need to get the links and copy and paste them on a document so that I can get them for you guys with the .org sites that has her real story in it, um, instead of the story that we're all taught, because her history was very nice. What's the matter? Dirty diaper. Change it. Your diaper. My favorite thing itself. Everybody else is like, I hate the babies. They're a little annoying, but I mean, how could you hate the babies? Look at their little fat faces. <laughs> I want a photo of her. Real quick. I almost put baby and then like a bunch of bees, but then I didn't. Um. Booby milk. <laughs> she, she, she eats booby milk. <laughs> oh, God. She's only had a bottle of her life, and that was her dad. Better the first day that he came home from the hospital, but yeah. I just, I love them. Their, their cry can be, they take a lot of care if you have a lot of Sims, and a lot of you need this. Oh, right here. I'll show you next time the cat goes to the bathroom if it goes away. Uh, it lasers all the kitty stuff. All right. We will give it until about 15 after for pe more people to jump in just in case anybody's running late or was wanting to watch it or whatever. This is Miss Dolly. This, oh, uh, you need this, oh. Uh, Litter box. It's a laser litter box that automatically cleans cat mess. I need that. Yeah, I need it. I need it in my life, too. That's our best friend, Miss Dolly. I have, I know it's a little ridiculous. Dolly and Pocahontas oh, being best friends. They just love each other so much. And I think I gave her a resident key, but if I didn't, I'm, I plan on it. Like, I want her to be... <laughs> Yep, see, she has a key to Pocahontas' house. <laughs> but it's my world, and I want them two to be friends. <laughs> yeah, um, this is her early. If you look at her early life. And let's see. We will hold up. Miss Dolly. May I please see... I think it's under... Was asked to see outfit. May I please see your formal outfit, Miss Dolly? Because we need to show this to chat. Sexy. I like Dolly because of the positivity uh, yeah. and the light me. that she brings into this oh, world. Nice. I like her because she's a huge fan. Uh, oh, yep. Of education. She's a huge fan of giving back. That she does things very kindly underneath the radar for charity. This is about the biggest hair that we have that I thought suited her. But yeah, um, I got her some big hair. <laughs> you had to. But I, just, I, I, I have a lot of respect for her. And even though I'm not overtly fond of all country music, I like her music. And... I like her personality so much. And a lot of people don't like her because she's so big. Oh, oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to chat. I hope every, I hope you have a good time. 
Beach wave! Yay, new people! <laughs> um, but I just, I absolutely love her. And I tried to make her as accurate as possible, but she wears long. I didn't have any formal gowns that I thought would suit Miss Dolly. But because she likes long sleeves and she likes gloves. But that's, you know, she doesn't discuss why and I don't, that, that's her business. But every outfit that she has, has long sleeves and has gloves. So, um, uh. all right. Oh, it's only seven Ooh. after eight. Huh. I mean, seven after seven. Okay. Uh -huh. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> I'm trying to be patient. I really want this baby to age up. I'm trying to be nice and let everybody else that might want to see this see it as well because there's some people that are invested in this story that have watched the story as much as I have. So if we have a birthday, I want to be polite and not do it at the first part. And it's not anybody's fault that I started a little bit early because I'm not going to be able to stream for hour, for a couple hours I usually do. We will be in, um, oh, look at my little kitty. Sorry, <laughs> we'll be ending a little eight. We will be ending to have a little bit of a chat amongst each other. And then I have to pick up my daughter. So I might come back and place them close to the sun. I love it. It looks, it's going to look like a big fat rack whenever he grows up or she. I can't remember if it's a boy or a girl. I, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, I guess I should because it's my Sims pet, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I love Miko. Go gather some water, woman. Quit reading your book. Yeah. <laughs> she loves that. Every time she's watched it, she's like, she's so cute. <laughs> she gets like I do. She gets so excited, and it's adorable, and I love it. I'm like, that's right, that curious He's cute. <laughs> How are you talking to her? But you, all right? Okay, this is one thing. They're literally he. She is literally inside his house, right? They are having a conversation. She was at his. Wedding. Friendly introduction. It, it's fine. Yeah. Well, hi. It's nice to see you since you okay. come to my wedding and I've been talking to you the whole time that you've been in my house and <laughs> <laughs> don't you Orbis. don't be mean to her. I'll kick Orbis. your honey. I love her. <laughs> she, I need to work on her story, but I'm not ready yet. But we will eventually, at one point in time, be protecting Miss Dolly into our family. Families in the Sims instead of NPCs. The same. Because we have to get her famous. She has to be a famous singer. And I'm probably going to do a rags to riches challenge with her as well. And put her in a home uh, that has nothing, like literally nothing on the plot. Not even a tent. Like, I'm not going to be as nice as I did with Pocahontas. And then she has to build her, um, I'm going to try to make an exact replica of her Tennessee Mountain home. And if I can't, I seen one that online in the gallery that I could download and then edit. And then I'm going to put it into the town. Like, I'm going to figure out how much it is, and she's going to have to save up that amount of money. But in the meantime, we'll let her live in a little one-room, like, shack until she can get to that. And then she'll have to work her way up to having a mansion and owning a business. Maybe owning a business. I don't know if that's a lot. Where are you at, Poco? Why am I watching Dolly? Like, she's... Oh, God. Jesus. That's probably one more than Dolly's. Put that down. That'll make your ears bleed, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Dolly's going to go sleep in my tent. <laughs> She's, look, I don't want to leave. Don't make me leave. Play with the kitty. And this baby's. 
Field of Love. Yeah, Field of Love. Kitty. And play with it. And scratch its favorite spot. I think that's really adorable that you can scratch the cat's favorite spot. I, I don't know why. I just do. And look, my cat's so smart that I can talk to it. Having it. We can talk back and forth. <laughs> I think is absolutely adorable. Oh, he's back to work. Um, got seven more minutes, and then we're gonna age this baby up. We'll go let him get through his work day, and then we'll age the baby up whenever he gets home. Or I could have him call in, and we could have a birthday party. It would have to be afterwards because you can't take the babies anywhere. But we could age her and then take her to the park. Yes. <laughs> you can cook them food too if you want to. Look, you can. Let me find it. Where's it at? I know there's an option. I'm losing it. Losing my mind. Cook. Nope. It's fine. It's here, I think. Yeah, cook pet recipe. And then you can... Yep. You can cook a home-style pet for them. And then you can eventually cook gourmet pets for them. Let's see a little fish plate. <laughs> it's the only thing she is allowed to cook without having the ingredients is food for the animal. Because it's not the animal's fault that they live off the grid. And everything else, you can live on Italian meatballs and stuff like that, but that dry, nasty kitty food, I don't want my cat eating that all the time. That's right. <laughs> I just don't. Oh, no, I meant to call in. It's fine to work and be responsible. Alright, and this makes me mad. This should be the opposite, right? Like, it makes me want him not to be a fisherman anymore. It says, avoid danger, endangered fish decreases your work performance. Okay, as a fisherman, avoiding endangered fish should increase your work performance, not decrease, in my opinion. I don't understand how that would... Like, you're breaking a wall. By fishing endangered fish. So why would that increase your work performance? Maybe because you don't care and you're catching more fish. But to me, it just seems opposite. It, and it's fine. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I just don't like it. Oh, don't pee your pants. Please don't pee your pants. Go, 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 go. Don't pee your pants. Please don't pee. I hate it when they pee their self. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna speed. Oh no, she's gonna pee her pants. Baby's crying. Okay, it's fine. Shh, I'm coming. I promise. Why is she going out there? There's a sink in the. Oh, there isn't a sink in the bathroom. Okay, we need a sink in the bathroom. <laughs> God, stop crying. Please stop crying. Don't take my baby away. Please don't take my baby away. Don't take care of the baby before social services shows up. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> Major diaper. Love her. I got a little nervous right there. <laughs> they will. Social services will come and take your baby. In Sims for anybody who does not who is not aware of that oh. and it is heartbreaking. I had a Sim one time she come home. I think it was Sims too, right? This was a family I was heavily invested in and I hadn't say I'd been playing for about twelve hours. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Yep. Smack <laughs> and I'd been playing for well or seven hours. I'd been playing for a long time that day. 
and whenever they got home from the hospital from giving birth, somehow my baby glitched, my family glitched, right? Well, I do too, I love it. And they, I, love the, I love that little video. If you haven't seen it, I need to put that on links too so that I can post it and just be, if anybody's having a bad day, be like, watch this, she's so cute, you can't be upset. <laughs> But uh, my family, like, they get home from the hospital, yeah, and um, the baby's crying, right? The mom is miserable. The dad won't touch the baby. I can't get anybody to take care of the baby. Every time that I click on the baby, it, it's like they go do whatever they want to do. They won't listen, and it keeps warning me that social services is about to take my baby away. And then I was like, don't take my baby away. Please don't take my baby away. And I, I literally, like, cheated this woman's needs. I teleported her into the room. Like, I, I went and cheat crazy. You know, I was doing everything I can. I, I even cheated the baby's needs at that time. You know, God, what do I do? Social services comes, takes my baby away. And both of them people, and I walked them in a room, and I starved them to death. Because <laughs> I was mad. I was like, how dare you let your baby almost die? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's like you, you, mm, you're my sim, okay? And you're not listening, and I'm telling you to take care of your child, and you literally ignore your baby until it gets taken away. And I cheated the needs of it hard twice. Yes, it is harsh, but I mean, you're gonna starve a baby to death. You stop. I mean, you you need <laughs> you need to just go somewhere. <laughs> but I locked the doors. And I let them, let them both just starve to death. And there was no bathroom in there. There was nothing. They peed all over their self. It was awful for them. Yeah, I got them on high free will, which is my own fault. Don't you go outside and cook that shit. It's all, all right, I know you're hungry. All right. Cook only stuff you have ingredients. Icky D. Um, what do you want today? Probably don't have any ingredients. I need tomatoes. Worst we'll have tofu tacos. I wonder if tofu tacos are. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't. There you go. Thank you. Yay. He listened. As soon as he gets home from work, how much longer you got, Coco? Oh, I don't know. Well, as soon as he gets home from work, we're raging up this baby. Okay. I just needed to check that momentarily. I have to be aware of that. I like to, well, I like to be aware of that. That way I can, um, yeah, I'll have, we'll fix it later. I'm not worried about it right now. We're going to let her eat and then, well, he can fix it while she eats. And then we'll age up the baby. He took his shoes off whenever he come in the house, but he still has shoes on. That makes no sense. It's a bibbit. That's right. <laughs> uh, finish eating your food. Is she done eating? I'm ready to age this baby up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. It's birthday. Happy birthday. Matata. Matata. Happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> Let's see. Um, age up. Age up. Yes. Oh, I got to be brave for a screenshot. I <laughs> left it alone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna eat this baby up. All right, I gotta be ready. Oh, come on, come on. He is going to be. We're gonna. I'm gonna do random, but if I don't like it, I'm changing it. So. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'm trying to. Um, my ultimate goal is to. Use this as a platform to not only like 
have fun with people and meet nice people. To, but I want to do a lot of charity work after I get to where I need to be <laughs> with it as well. But that's going to be a long, long, long time. And it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of effort and a lot of energy on my part. But I'm willing to do it, you know. Okay, we're going to pick random. But I absolutely am not going to have her be fussy or clingy. Because this is Pocahontas' baby and she is not a bad kid. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, do you? Um, well, as far as charities, I was thinking like a rotating schedule because I'm passionate about a lot of things. <laughs> I, I want to, um, epilepsy for one, like there's this uh, program and that's awesome since I for real, but I, um, because Wounded Warriors is a good, good, good charity. But I was thinking like epilepsy, the epileptic one that helps them get dogs. If for one thing, these wanted to do with the environment, wanted to do with some sort of literacy and um, something for gay rights to help support my daughter. And because, just because I love her and I don't like the way that people treat her because of who she was born to be. So... You know, just and what I guess whatever like things that I feel like I should touch on. I yeah, that my well, my brother is epileptic, and there's a, uh, I can't remember the name of name of the charity. But there's one that helps people get dogs, and we're about to find out how cute she is. And they help her. They help them get service dogs, right? And the service dogs um, will warn people if they're about to have a seizure. They <laughs> they help the, the person going through a seizure, and and they're trained to to do things for them. Yeah, and they um, they also oh my god, they, they I can't remember what all they do. Yeah, they keep them from getting hurt. They help them. They warn you if you have seizures. They're kinds of things that they do that help epileptic people and it's something that's near to dear to my heart so anything that i'm really passionate about I, which is a lot of things i really feel like uh to try to help in some sort of way and then i also have ideas of like my own things that i want to start like the, uh, i have a book, facebook page called clean energy clean earth that i haven't touched on in a long time she's adorable but it's solely about the environment and i'm really passionate about i feel like we should do like the Laura lorax says if we all do a little we can do a lot right um so i don't know she's adore oh my god she's gonna be so beautiful she grows up I need braids why don't we have baby braids the only baby braids i have has bangs and i really don't like that time to go Get some CC tomorrow for my um, toddlers because I hadn't done that yet. I guess we'll go with one of the only hairstyles I like for kids. All right, what outfit is she gonna wear? I need it to be like Indian <laughs> princessy. Oh, got the Harry Potter shirt. I got though. That's <laughs> um. Or, or look right here. It could be a little bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I play a lot of I, I play a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of different games. <laughs> oh my god, I love it! <laughs> that's her right there. That's her outfit. No shoes. I'm gonna put these on and then I'm gonna take them off. No shoes though. For every day because they don't wear shoes well, well she doesn't she's not gonna wear shoes. that's fine for, for formal i think no i want this <laughs> she is adorable okay and then for sleeping what are we gonna sleep in you're not sleeping in your drawers sorry i know you're little but oh my god no I can't see her pretty hair. Okay, this one, and then... They do not have anywhere near enough toddler clothes in this. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, um... I need... that. You can get... If you get the sewing one, you can, like... Not sewing. 
do, 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 the um, words. Knitting. Yeah. Oh, you need one. <laughs> like this. Yeah, that's adorable. I just don't want to hide her hair. I might have that be her outside outfit. I'm just picking something that's kind of cute right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yep. Maybe. Oh, that's that right there. That's adorable. Oh, this is her party outfit. What are you doing, Peach? This is party, party, party. Okay. He's going to party in. Oh. Oh. She gets this, even though it's not Halloween all the time. That's her party outfit. That It's just it. Mm. Why are you wearing shoes when you're going swimming? <laughs> Not just Pikachu. Yeah, gotta catch them all. What are you doing? Okay, first off, that hat's gotta go. I don't like hardly any of the hats in this. And this is my hot weather outfit. Yes. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. And then cold weather will wear that. Or, oh, we're going to wear that because she looks so cute. We're going to go to the park. Go to the park. We're about to go to the park as a family. <laughs> All right, let's um head up and she step. Oh, I forgot to take a screenshot. It's okay. We'll get a screenshot of the part. Yes, the winter outfit. It's adorable. I love that. The new one that they have. The little bitty fuzzy. Oh, it is extra. Oh, I love this game way too much. <laughs> I've been playing the Sims since the first Sims come out. Not as I go through spells with it though, because I'll play the crap out of it and then I get burnt out and then I'm like, mm, I'm done with this for a little while and then I put it on the shelf, but I'll always come back to it. That's right, we gotta protect the baby. You got Sims 4, but stuck on the tutorial. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can clean up the food. <laughs> I said I can clean up this bowl of food fair enough. Let's have our first family park day. We'll go to my park, too. The one that I spent forever in. Look, I finally got at least one neighborhood green. Look at all them pretty firelights and fireflies, lightning bugs, whatever you want to call them, depending on who you are, where you're from, what you call them, that are in the neighborhood. And we will go to, I can't wait till my whole world looks like that. I did, um, I lost a lot of game progress whenever my computer decided that it didn't, wrong world, wrong world, no, nope, right world. Yeah, I can't wait to get this one, like, done and sussed up. Oh, hmm. I'll do that later. That's got to go. That's got to, that's, that's unacceptable in this world, so. <clears throat> we will probably, next time we play this family, have to go to this club, just specifically so that I can put some solar panels and stuff on it. Because I haven't remodeled that anymore, and I don't, we're not doing that. We'll take the cat, too. It's uh, Pocahontas. And her actual real husband, 
whom was slaughtered right in front of who was slaughtered. Yeah. She had a baby. I'm pretty sure it was, it was actually a boy, but I didn't change the sex of this baby. I'm just going to have her have another baby. Um, but she, had, she, her and Kokum got married whenever she was 15 at that time. It's not, you know, they got married whenever she was 15, right? Um, and, or, or younger. I'm not exact ages. If I misrepresent any facts, I'm, I'm not trying to. But from what I remember, they got, they got married whenever she was 15. And then um, whenever John Roth and his crew come over, right, they Pocahontas into getting on the ship. Um, tried to rescue her. They killed her, killed him, kidnapped her, took her over and proceeded to do things that we don't talk about and I'm not going to talk about but it was awful well she ended up pregnant from it and then um, he pretty much told her you can marry me or die so they get married and then she is speaking up and trying to go home and wanting to get out of the situation She and then she goes she's perfectly healthy and she goes to dinner one night and, with, and comes Next day, vomiting up blood, so a lot of people believe that she was poisoned. Yeah, um, if you look it up on a .org site and make sure that you go to one that uh, was made by Indonesia's people, I think I'm enunciating that correctly. I live in a southern redneck town, and I'm not trying to butcher words, but I just really um, kind of taught myself most of my words. So sometimes I mispronounce things, but it's not because trying to be disrespectful or religious because I don't know how to pronounce them correctly. I just pronounce them how I see how I see them. You know what I mean? But if you go to I, and I'm gonna get the links. I don't have them available right at this minute, but if you want me to, I can stop right now and look them and find them. But it's up on a dot net site and but it wasn't one that we put out it was one that the Native American Indonesian people put out there that they were trying to educate what had actually happened to this to this lady. The, the the Disney story is not accurate at all. Come on, I want to screen. Oh, that's perfect right there. But I figured that she deserved a good, um, nice, happy life. So I got her in here and she's married to her first husband and having babies and they're going to be happy and that's going to be her life in this world. Mm -hmm. I do that sometimes. Well, I mean, first off, it's a game, so I'm not going to be able to make their their life as accurate as I could in real life. I, you know, it, 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 I, could, I can't make their life exactly how it is in real life. And I don't want that kind of history from for people that I really, really like. I, I would, you know, I just don't. Like, <laughs> I'm playing with your daughter. No, I can't play with her. Why, do I, why can I not interact with my toddler? Yeah, um, I can't remember the name of the Native American writer that, that wrote that, and I, I was reading on it. And then I three different websites before I accepted the truth. Um, I need to check something real quick, you guys. Okay, we got a few minutes and run an ad break before. we still got a few minutes i just like to stay on top of it because i would much rather tell you guys that it was popping up yes thank you very much thank you for popping in and you're welcome back anytime i try to stream every day at seven for wednesdays for my dnd and bye for now sensei okay we can just go talk to her, baby, yeah. 
hug lovingly. Why can't I play with her? Teach to say please and thank you. What are you doing? You need to go over here and start fishing. This is your job. And gather some water for the house. Frogs. Fishing. Yeah, it, her, her next life has been better. <laughs> oh, you meant like her bad. Never mind. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, the, I've, I've researched my characters before I make them. But Galileo, his wife in this game is an alien because he was the first one to study the, to, to come up with the telescope and to study the stars and to come up with astrology. Yeah. Well, um, he, he had a lady that he kept, but he never married. And they had three children together. It was two girls and one boy. So I didn't have all their, I didn't make all their children because I didn't, like, they're going to be pregnant and bring them into the world. But they have, um, um, words. They have one baby right now, and I'm going to have them have two more, right? Now, since the two girls are married, I'm going to have them, like, not blah, 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 And I'm going to try to base the guy's life off as much as possible. And I have Ga Galileo as a scientist. Let me see if I can find Galileo real quick. No, don't go home. Jesus, what are you doing? Stop. No, your baby's right there. Okay. I'll have this here. Practice. Thank you. For friendships. Oh, that's Galileo's wife. See, Galileo Bonatui. I love it. I, I just, I like that family. I spent a long time making that family. We're going to go way, way, way because she stinks right now. And I can see if there's a symbol. It looks like the baby start. Oh, she's sad. Why are you sad? Oh, she's hungry. No, I'm going to starve my toddler to death. I'm cheating her needs. There you go, baby. I'm sorry. Okay, you stop playing, and then you check her, <laughs> brighten up her, you make her happy, make her happy right now. Okay, fine, Bess, but no, you're not getting oh. any money. There we go. Are you happy yet? Uh -huh. She's still sad. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay. Happy yet? All righty. Yay. Now we can make her a little upset because we're about to teach her to say please and thank you and she's not going to like that. I think I love the baby. I love the toddler so much. Give a talking to. Why am I going to? What did she do? No, I'm not giving a talking to because I don't know what she did. Parenting. And see, he's nice looking. Look, I got the little tattoos as a download from Disney. And I got the Pocahontas tattoo as a CC. What? Did you see that? What is wrong with my si Why is her arms broke? Do you guys see that? Look at her. I can't even. Um. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! 
We will definitely um, have to look into what's going on with that game. With this game. Uh oh, who's Babbles? Oh, it's this thing. Okay. Um, not my pet, but I'm not gonna let it die. Okay, Coco, you need to get to work taking care of this thing that's not even ours. Be treat, your food. Talk. Talk to. Talk. Ask about day. Yeah, I built all of this. Like, all of this. This is all, and I glitched this to where it went underneath the ground. And I have plans for that down there. Just because. And this is the vampire's pool. If they come to the first one, too. He's going to pee his pants. Why do my ceilings always pee your pants? I fail. I cannot, I've been playing this game way too long. For the things to happen to my ceilings. It happened to myself. And I don't know if it's that I stink at it or that it's just an aspect of the game. Uh, I honestly have no idea. I mean, regardless, it's going to be fine. But, oh yeah, she can't do anything because all the toddler stuff is down here. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. What is it? You guys go, why are you not taking care of your top? What is wrong with you people? Why do you not listen? Hey, Raina. What? I, why are you not going to go break stuff because you're mad? Oh, she's mad because mommy was teaching her manners. It was toy. Go play with Supergirl. Oh, we don't have Supergirl. Well, not that it's really Supergirl, but I call it Supergirl. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a brief ad break quick. And... The channel will return momentarily if you'll give me just one second. I need to Alrighty. And we will continue on. Here we go. He's exhausted. Took them to the park and I'm making them miserable. I don't even mean to. <laughs> it's fine though. It could be worse. Let's see. What does he need? I pay absolutely no attention to him half the time. All right. Oh, he's going to pass out. Oh, no, no. Please don't pass out. You can go to sleep. Down here. Sleep. After you take care of that hamster. Oh, I'm going to let him starve to death too. That's lovely. Okay. Once you get like two or three sims in a household, I feel household. I feel like it almost becomes unmanageable. Why are you playing with dolls? Okay. Look. Same rules apply here. Oh, we don't have any ingredients. Oh, we do. Okay. Boy, they love them some Italian meatballs, I'm telling you, because that's about what we're about to eat. Yo, I mean, forget it, we're going to eat Italian meatballs. No, we'll eat this. I don't know. Oh, thank you for the follow, Shayla. Welcome to the channel. I'll give you a little peach wave. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, you can make Italian meatballs in the Sims if you could, like, if you go over here and you hit, and then there's a whole list of stuff to, let me scroll down and I'll show you. Um, right here, see? 
and the ingredients are just parsley if you wanted to make it better quality. And if you're doing an off the grid challenge or living off the land challenge and you have to use ingredients, I would strongly suggest getting some parsley or something like that. Hey, Mikein. I can. No. <laughs> That we used to have a guy whenever we played SHK together, he'd come in the chat, and every time that he come in, he would go, I can, I can. <laughs> like every time I hear, every time I see Mike, and that's what I think of is that guy that comes in to the chat that used to say your name. It's almost every time that I say your name, I say it like that as well. <laughs> I can't even. He used to um, play Stronghold Kingdoms with us guys. Don't play that game, it's toxic. But. You can meet some really good people in that game as well. Yeah, he was funny. I liked him. He was really sweet as well. I liked him a lot. Um, I can't remember his name for the freaking life of me, though. I remember he was younger. I remember the exact way he talked. I, and I'm neglecting my baby because I'm chatting. Oh, my God. But <laughs> I don't remember anything about him. I have no idea. Yeah, he probably was. Yeah, he was a spy, but he was still, he was funny. Mm. I will cheat her needs if I have to. I am not about to get this little baby taken away from me. I love her so much already, and I've only had her, like, as a toddler forever. Oh, she's just playing. I don't believe in cheating the adult's needs. However, if there's a pet in the household, well, let me rephrase it. I don't believe in cheating the adult's needs very often. <laughs> And I don't do it, I do it like, I don't know, like, if I have a pregnant film and she's miserable and whoop, 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 then I will cheat their needs then. But babies and, and children, I will cheat. Hashtag, I'm a cheater. That's right, Raina. I used to, but then I, I've been playing for so long and I just, I have to make her I get a little bored. I don't know why I'm just staring at this kid. I really don't. I guess because I've been looking forward to play. I like I got to miss in this family, and I've been wanting to play this baby so so bad, and she's so cute. So, uh, dude, I know I'm start. I started speaking the other day. Simish, look, I, I said something. I, somebody asked me something. I this in Simish, and I was like, "Well, blah 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 blah." It was high, and I was like, "So so." <laughs> I think it was my mom because she was teasing me because she didn't expect me to know. Yeah. <laughs> Wash your hands after too. There's Dolly. Just like Dolly in real life, she's stacked. We'll say hi and then. <laughs> your Sims needs don't go down. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Have you ever killed your Sims on purpose, Raina? Rana? That's only a hard habit for me to break because I've been saying your name, Raina, for a while. Because <laughs> I have. Baba's. This? <laughs> well, I, I've literally walked my Sims in a room before and just killed. Zoom? Oh. I might need to take these Sims home. They've been at the park for almost a day. I designed this park too. I took Willow Creek Park and that's it now. That's the park in the game. I like this a lot. Whenever you, let's see if I can get the angle right. Yeah. Like, say you were a Sim and you were walking in, this would be what you would see. I like the entryway. That's literally a bunch of statues all kind of like made into archways and yeah. Sims 2, I think, had some of the best gameplay as far as like businesses and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to take them home because almost 8 o'clock. I hate that I'm having such a short stream tonight. Um, but family... Always first, and I'm going to have to pick up from work, and I feel like there's a few things that I want to say to you guys to let you know how I'm going to progress as the channel moves forward. 
and uh, so I want to. That's something that I'm that we're gonna do tonight, and then we won't have to do that again. Oh uh, no, you. Why? How do I? Okay, you better be taking our baby home. Okay. Sometimes they'll just leave the kid forever. Yep, and it is getting really close to Christmas. We celebrate our Christmas on Christmas Eve, so, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to stream on Christmas Day that night, and I don't know what I'm going to stream. <gasps> what? I like that from, sorry, I don't know what I'm going to stream, but it's going to be some sort of Christmas event, some sort of Christmas theme or something, just because I feel like we should. And for anybody who doesn't celebrate Christmas, this is the holiday season, and I wish you happy holidays no matter what you celebrate. We happen to celebrate Christmas in this household, but um, I respect any anybody's holiday. You know, this time of year, I think if I remember, did ever, anybody? Oh. Did anybody see the moon last night? Like before we get into this serious discussion, after after we get them home, if you didn't, you need to look up pictures online. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was a once in a one eight hundred year event, and the moon was literally lit up like the. They everybody's saying that it looked like the, it, the last time it happened was about the time that the star of Bethlehem would have been in the sky so everybody's calling it the star of bethlehem and i've seen photos of it i didn't get to see it here because it was cloudy but it it's absolutely gorgeous and it's well worth your time um to to look it up I, as a matter of fact before i'm going to leave them run for a second and i'm going to try to get a link to a picture of this i'm just going to let them do their own thing unless you know unless the baby needs me while i'll pull for you guys No, that's not the image. Mean, if I can find it. Can't find the picture. Give me a second. I just had it. I've seen it on my Facebook, but I can't very well give you guys a link to my Facebook. Okay, images from... Oh, here. This is kind of... Yeah, every clicking on... It's like from you. I'll find it eventually, but I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. It might take me a minute to get in, get out of it. And right now, I'm sorry. I would if I didn't have to go pick up my daughter, but I'll do that very, very, very soon. So <laughs> you saw the picture, but there was no pop up. Yeah, I I couldn't find the exact image that I was looking for, so I'm going to try to find that image. And Download it myself, and then that way I can give it to you guys. I want a photo of her before we go. I need to pull up my document as well. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. Okay, I, I know that we haven't been running long, but I had some things in my plate I had to take care of last night, and I do have to go pick up my daughter here in a moment, and <clears throat> I'm going to go to the chat box so that I can pull this document up because I wrote something up that I would like to read to you guys. It took me, <laughs> that's why I didn't have time to stream earlier today. 
but uh, just because I feel I felt like I, I felt like it was needed. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take a drink first. This is a little long. <laughs> Okay, you guys, before we end this stream, I would like to have what I feel like is an important discussion with you. Thank you very much. First off, I'll wait before we get into this chat. I do know I try to stream every day. I can't, will be because of family issues. If I have to, ever have to step away from stream, my brother is epileptic. Please understand. I will never just walk away without telling you where I'm going. I do have a YouTube that has all my old VODs on it. If anybody wants to watch them, you don't have to. If you do, that's fine as well. Um, and my schedule will be updated every Sunday if it changes. Now, first off, I want to thank everybody for the support that you've been giving me and helping me to be given absolutely the biggest opportunity in my life. I appreciate it more than words could ever convey. And more than I can begin to display. I see all the love and it means the world to me and me. From literally one of the darkest places as hard I've ever been in my life. The one that's filled with hope and purposes. And said, there have been a few growing pains the last couple of days. As that will happen from time to time. And I'm promising them and that I'm setting up plans for if anything like that ever happens again. This is a learning experience for me, and we will grow and change as well as needed. As far as the glitching, I cannot prevent that, but I do have better plans for if it happens in the future. And we'll learn over time more effective ways to fix any tech issues on my side. I can, however, control the content coming out of my stream. That is about behavior and game setup. And I have thought about and read all night long and today, and actually since I first started streaming, about manners on Twitch. And I've thought about last night what I would perceive as rude as a viewer if I was watching, say, Andrew or somebody. And have written up guidelines that, I, that everyone that is, that is included in my streaming channel to go by, especially me, more importantly, because at the end of the day, this is my channel. I can promise you that never game be changed due to anyone else's issues in games. We will continue what is advertised because if you click the Sims, I know you expect to watch the Sims as I would if I went into a channel to watch a certain game. I can also promise anyone brought into the streaming room will be prepared to game at the moment, at that moment in time, or they will not be brought into the group until they are ready and if needed moved out of the room for someone to help them sort any technical issues that they have so that we as a channel can continue with our game and like we like I'm I'm not saying that I'm not going to bring them back in they will go get ready and then we'll be brought in of course you know because I want to game with my friends I'm but I'm not expecting anyone to sit there and watch and wait on things that we should have had set up before and that we can and should control. However, if I'm having severe technical issues with a glitchy game like Worm was the other night, which might happen from time to time and can't be prevented as, as a streamer and the one that you click to watch, we will handle it as it at once and as, the, as it best suits that situation. I realize the opportunity that I have been given is huge. It's huge. Way big. It's bigger than I can even comprehend. And I never in any way want to be perceived as ungrateful or rude. I don't want to be bossy to anyone in my Discord or into our gaming group. However, I have been studying manners, as I said, in Twitch as well. And I will have anyone in the streaming channel abide by what is deemed to be polite by, by the Twitch community. My viewers... You know, you guys that I'm talking to right now, you have no idea how important you are to me. And I have huge plans with what I can do whenever I get ahead in life that will improve other people's life. Not, not mine, other people's. I want to do a lot of charity work and I want to be a, a big difference in the world. I would love to use this channel as an uplifting tool 
an escape for anyone who has been struggling. I'm sorry, this is hard, but I feel like I need to say it. I know that there are a, f a few streamers that I've watched that have been an inspiration to me. And they make me, by watching them, want to be a better person at all times, not just while in stream. Their light and positivity literally almost pours out of the screen. Andrew in particular, and he doesn't, he doesn't even know. <laughs> I've obviously wouldn't because, you know, I'm just a, a fangirl. I was in a dark place when I found that channel. And he helped me in ways I can't explain by just doing his thing and, and being him. And me being able to sit and watch as an escape. And having that attitude that he has about life. And I want to be that person for others if, if they need it. <clears throat> If you guys ever see anything or any attitudes in stream or from my friends that, that watch me whenever I'm off stream that you perceive or think are, are, are rude, if it comes from myself or my group, please let me know. And anything that we can improve upon, we will correct the behavior immediately. I can promise it for myself. I can promise at least that for myself, and if they are unwilling to do so, I can always game and chat with them when we are not doing a stream. I would, of course, I want to do streams with them from time to time because it's fun and I have a really good time doing it. I would also like you guys to know that I've been going back and re-watching all of my old streams and videos on YouTube and writing notes about my behavior and the things that I feel like I could do to improve myself, and I'm trying to utilize this as a tool to grow and change as a person. For example, sometimes I can be a little impatient and I'm working on improving that and I will continue to look within myself and use this platform as a tool to become the best me that I can be. I would like to thank all you guys again for all your support, for your patience, for all the understanding and the love. There are absolutely no words that I can say to express what this means to me. I hope that I can be some sort of inspiration and light to people and that we can grow and we can be able to do things for the, for pe for the world and for, for people in general. Please know that your opinion is valued and please speak up if there is ever any content in this channel that is untoward and we will learn from that and we, we will not do it anymore. For all who have stuck with me through the growing pains that that we will experience and that we have experienced the ones that have been supporting me thus far, my family, all my friends and the viewers that have ranked my channel. I have so much love for you guys. And I thank you for helping me achieve my dreams, honestly, and to grow as a person and to be the best me that I can. Now, all of that being said, I hope the rest of your night is just peachy keen. May all your dreams soar with the dragons. And may all your smiles always outweigh your friends. Crowns. Thank you again. Until I see, and until I see you tomorrow. Bye for now. You guys.